Hello everyone and welcome to the Go Home Show. Before Golden Grudge, it is episode 39 of the TW 2020 Real World Draft Series here on the channel. As of, we're almost at the uh, the end of August already. I mean, this is it's kind of crazy how much we've flown by this as we've had, you know, basically we've had to book something every uh, week. And we I mean, we just keep on going until it's... Uh, Till we're at our, our, our final point here in the series as uh, the show's booked, it's ready to go. Without further ado, let's run said show as we have two pre-show matches. First one being uh, 3.0 versus the Monster Mafia as of Monster Mafia get the win with Josh Alexander pinning Shane Matthews with a Pearl Rebel Plunge. Scott Parker broke his hand, that's tough, as uh, Scott Parker was actually outperforming everybody in the match. Josh Alexander was off his game. It is what it is. I get to 30. As, yuck. As, uh, yeah, Scott Parker was angered after the match, or is angry after the match, thanks to Ethan Page. Injuring him with a botched movie. Broke his hand on a botch. That is tough. And Josh Alexander gets to meet as well. My god. It must have been a tag move to fuck it up. As, uh, Noam Dar and TJ Wilson, the pre show. Yeah, I figured this would be a. Honestly, this could have been on the main show for sure, as TJ and Noam Dar go 10 minutes. Cold Blue gets the win for TJ in 10.01. So yeah, I mean, that was a solid little matchup. I definitely could have made the card. But we were just, you know, strapped for time. We have, you know, our contract signing for the main event. A lot of different things going on on this show. As of the opener, though, obviously we, we start the show off. I forgot to make everybody off screen. That's all right. But it was the uh, Stampede TV intro, as always. Uh, that actually got a 62. I feel like that's as high as it's been in a long-ass time. Usually it's mid-40s, mid-50s. But that's, that's pretty good. As of this, we have... Opening up the show with uh, backstage in the locker room, we see Joel Redman. He is down, face first into the floor, as uh, Chris Hero and Martin Stone are standing over him and just beating the hell out of him. Looks like Martin Stone has found his new partner. It's Chris Hero. That's going to be quite the tag team look out for in the future. Chris Hero and Martin Stone. I mean, <laughs> Hero's made of stone, if you will. As uh, Yeah, that should be a lot better than the Joel Redman team. With Martin Stone, and plus, yeah, I do think they'd be a great team, like Chris here and Martin Stone. They just they fit well together. As now the actual first match, as this was on the pre-show, just to kind of see where Kenta was, and now he's here on the main show for this his big return matchup as is Kenta taking on Pete Dunne, and uh, it goes nine minutes forty-one seconds. Kenta getting the the win with the combo into the Basaiku knees, obviously oh, the GTS Basaiku knee combination. Fifty-four for Kenta, fifty-two for Pete Dunne. This gimmick's getting pretty stale, plus there wasn't enough. You know, that uh, pop between the two, but that's all right, though. It's still a, a decent little opener. We'll take it as this. This, ah, oh, again, I forgot to make these girls off screen, but that's all right. As Candice LeRae has requested an interview with Renee Young, and you know, Renee is just like, you know, Candice, you asked me to come out here for this interview. What's on your mind? What's going on? And she says, you know, Renee, you know, the people here, the CWA, they're just, you know, coddling Paige and Tony Storm. Tony Storm does not deserve... This title match against Sasha Banks, I know Sasha's going to beat her. It's, it's a watch. It's an easy match for Sasha. It's going to be an easy win for her. I won my fate of four-way match at Edmonton's Epic Extravaganza. I deserve to be the next number one contender. So, you know, Sasha Banks, just know this. I'm gunning for you. You know, you have your next contender right here. You don't have to look, but, you know, make sure anybody's going to debut and attack you or anything like that. It's going to be me. Yeah, I'm your next opponent. I'm the one who's going to beat you, Sasha. So that's just, you know, Candace. It sounded a little, not so, like, babyface-y, but with it, which I want to get over the point that she is angry and that she feels like she's been wrong, but also that don't want to make her sound like she's a heel at the same time. She's still, you know, that fucking fun-loving, and maybe not fun-loving, but just, like, you know, get on, white me babyface. But, uh, you know, she still feels that she, Tony Stone does not deserve this title match. She feels like she's should be the number one contender. Tony Storm, all she's done is wrestled one match. And she's getting her title shot against Sasha. And she's just viewing or uh, expressing her uh, displeasure in this. So I just felt like that's a fun little story for Candice to do for this interview. I think it did all right. 52 will take it. As uh, this next match, Dark Order is no mercy in, in the six-man tag. Figure like this is a nice, fresh little matchup. As uh, we have No Mercy, of obviously Ishii with Goshizaki and Katsuko Nakajima taking on the Dark Order team of Tommy Yen. With Evil Uno and Stu Grayson as uh, Tommy Yen pinned Katsuko Nakajima after Black Mass. Again, a match I would 
kill to see Tommy in against Iga Nagajima. That'd be awesome. As uh, that was just a fun little six man to give, you know, Dark Order a nice win. Plus, it creates this. As the big F in the rig comes down, Birdie Lee comes out and they start, you know, putting the boots at, at uh, you know, Tommy in the Dark Order. But also, New Mercy get involved. And they it just becomes a full on brawl. Kinta comes out there, Naomichi Marfuji comes out. It is just a big ass. There's like, even though that we're just maintaining these five, or this is the big five out of that whole deal, but everybody's involved. We had the Dark Order of uh, Evil Uno and Stu Grayson. We have Ketsuka Nakajima and Go Shizaga, obviously, Access. So much going on in this, where it's just so many people, you couldn't even fit them all in the angle. Like, it's just this big ass fucking brawl that lasts about three or four minutes. Just guys beating the shit out of each other all over the, the ringside area. Just a fun little thing as we come back from commercial with the main event press conference for Golden Grudge. In a cage, these two will finally end it. Pack Brian Danielson for what will be the final time as uh, you know, each guy gets his own promo before they actually do the contract signing. Starts with Brian. Brian, you know, he's, he's you know, you have used all in your powers of the blood generation. You've had interference from Shima, Ricky Doy, Roger Strong. But that all ends at Golden Grudge. I will beat your ass in a cage. You will tap to a emulation. You will get pinned after Flying Head Buddy. It, it doesn't matter how it ends, Pack. It's going to end one way. Me, Megan Dragon, Brian Nielsen. Being the CWA Canadian Heavyweight Champion once again, and proving that I, I am the best technical wrestler in the world, I'm going to prove it fair and square, middle of the ring, one, two, three, or I'll tap your ass out. And it goes either way, but in the end, it's going to come down to me walking out of that cage, the new CWA Canadian Heavyweight Champion. That's Pax promo. And he goes, it doesn't matter how it's going to end, our story will come to an end, though. This Sunday at Golden Grudge. But Brian is going to end with me. Still the CWA champion. There's nothing you can do to stop me. I'm not going to need help. As you say. My brothers in arm. They're not going to be involved. We all know this. I don't need them. I don't need my help. I don't need blood generation by my side. I can beat your ass. One, two, three. After my black arrow. That's all it's going to take. It just takes one black arrow to end it all. And you will see who is the better man at Golden Grudge. And that better man will be me. So that's just the two little... Obviously these two, no strangers to each other. Doesn't have to, you know, mix words. They, these two are just vowing to be the best in the world. And it comes down to this final gauge match between these two. There will be no blood generation interference. There will be no uh, babyface ally interference or Brian Danson. We're not going to see Sami Zayn, Kevin Steen helping him out. This is, it all comes down to this. This is what the big night is for. This is Golden Grudge. It doesn't get uh, better than this. Brad Pack and Brian Danson do the best in the world. Lovely. The match, I mean, it should go well. I don't know how it won't, but <laughs> you never know, I guess. And the main event, which, uh, interesting enough, we have the Golden Lovers. Kenny Omega, Kota Ibushi taking on Miz and uh, John Morrison as Omega pinning Miz after the one wing angel. Obviously, Kota is not on Kenny's level just yet. With just pop-wise. If this was like, you know, in a kind of neutral site, obviously probably Kota Bush would be on the same level as Miz and Morris and whatnot. But Kenny's still doing his part. So at least he's got that going for him. And, uh, you know, now this, it's set. The main, or not, maybe not the main event. I'm assuming it's not going to be the main event. As it's going to be Golden Lovers, just the Young Bucks at Golden Grudge now. So, I mean, what a card. What a card we have to end out that stampede, though. That was a fun little stampede. As we we still lost Pop, though. Now, there you go. Now, how fun is that? But, you know, the card, nonetheless, is still going to be a fun card. You know, we have the main event, obviously, the cage match. Pack and Brian Anderson. We got the tag match of the Golden Lovers and the Young Bucks. Tommy End and Brody Lee for the British Commonwealth title, which is going to be fun, even though it's, you know, Tommy End, he's from Amsterdam, Holland, but really, no, like, British ties there. We have... Uh, Kenta and Naomi Chimar Fuji, they're having their match, which is just fucking crazy. We finally get to see that match of all this time. And, uh, you know, and many more. We're gonna see, hopefully, this new tag team, Heroes of, in, uh, Heroes of Stone. Heroes Made of Stone, rather. They're gonna hopefully battle, uh, against somebody. 
uh, and looking to see what else is going to be on this card because we do have a lot of, you know, surprises up our sleeve. Some matches that are, oh yeah, and also the women's title matches, Sasha Banks and uh, Tony Storm for the women's title. So it should be an interesting card. I think, you know, as far as what we've done, let's see, we'll just look at the history, just really, really quick show history. Yeah, we've ran 38 shows. We've now had six, or uh, seven events, rather, as a uh, heart attack was blended in there. And, you know, we've had a 48, and then a 63, 67, 69, 69 again, a 67, and a 72 finally broke into the 72s. I think we're going to have maybe close to a 75. It's going to be close, though. It, I think, depending on how I put the car together. It, it might hit that 75 mark. It's going to be tough, though. It's going to be really tough, but I think it's going to be a hell of a card, nonetheless. Should be exciting for Golden Grudge to, to come and go. As I, I got Discord on, you hear the Discord alert. Thank you all for watching, as we will catch you guys next time. For episode 40, it will be the Golden Grudge. Final time! Back and Brian Danielson, one-on-one. -on -one. Take care, everyone.